Hello, folks. This is your host, Tammy Tucky, and you are now listening to the Tierra Talk Show. We bring you rare interviews with the makers of Disney magic. Whether they be singers, actors, imagineers, animators, they have all made their mark on the Disney name. Be sure to check out the show notes, other episodes, contests, our social media pages from Facebook to Twitter, and more on our official website at www.thetierratalkshow.com. All guest opinions are theirs and theirs alone and do not represent the opinions of the Tierra Talk Show or the host. The Tierra Talk Show is not associated with the Disney Company. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode. And from all of us here at the Tierra Talk Show, have a hoop de doo day. I'm Toby. I'm excited to welcome this week's Tierra Talk Show guest, actor Toby Ganger, to the show. Welcome, Toby. Hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a, it's really a pleasure. Uh, we were just talking off air how you were in a couple of Disney's sing-along tapes, and I think this is kind of like the biggest honor ever because, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, you're cemented in Disney history, and a lot of us grew up with these VHS tapes, and we could not get to Disney World ourselves. Mm-hmm. And these Disney sing-along tapes were promoting like the latest and greatest. There was a camp out one for Fort Wilderness, and, and the one we're mainly going to be talking about today Today is uh, the beach party at Walt Disney World, which was promoting Perfect. Blizzard Beach at the time. So that came out in 1995, which is over 20 years ago. And we were just saying it doesn't seem like time has really passed. <laughs> it's crazy how fast it is. Yeah. Just don't ask us how old we are. No, just kidding. I know. Seriously. <laughs> So, uh, of course, you know, you had an introduction in the beach party video as being Toby because we know you by your wavy hair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many times every friend of mine <laughs> has to say that all the time? Oh, well, you should, you should think it isn't like, because again, in people in the comment section, if you have not seen this video, it, it's it's wonderful. It's, it's like a 30 minute video, definitely for kids, but adults have fun too, because there's music from the Beach Boys and, and other wonderful artists, uh, I think Elvis too. And um, yeah, it's yeah. really great because, you know, just hearing the songs again, I'm like, these are wonderful, fun songs, and you guys are fantastic singers and, and actors, and it's just a fun video. And and first it starts out, If I, I'm just going to ref- refresh some of our listeners who've already seen the video. I'm just going to refresh memories, but it, it starts out in Disney's MGM Studios. Um, there were a couple of houses in the back lot. The whole thing is gone now, and also New York Street is gone. But um, mm. you guys learn how to hula dance. See, there's a pirate ship, Ariel, Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon. There's so much going on. So how did you find out about the initial auditions for this sing-along video? Um, well, I actually didn't audition for the last two, the campground one and the beach one that you mentioned. So I, I auditioned uh, for the first one, which was, I believe, in 93, um, which was the circus one. So, I, you know, I, I vaguely, I remember going to the audition at some place here in L.A. Um, and had a couple callbacks. Um, they had us doing some basic dancing and acting uh, kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a long time ago, so I don't remember the specifics, uh, specifics too well. But, uh, yeah, so I, I just went on an on, on a audition like any other and, uh, and found out, I guess, a few days after the audition that I booked it. And uh, we ended up going up to Sacramento to shoot that one. And then the other two were in Florida, Disney World. We had that, uh, I think the Blizzard Beach, uh, nobody had ever ridden on the rides before. Like, nobody. In fact, some of the rides that we went on, they nobody else went on after us because uh, <laughs> our experience of using it uh, made them either change it or, or get rid of it or replace it uh, based off of our experience. So... In that way, uh, we were exclusive to to be able to use those rides. What was like the schedule for shooting well, these type of videos? The the interesting thing was um, most of the the shooting that went on down in the water, um, Typhoon Lagoon, I believe, whatever I, I think was it Lake Buena Vista, I think is what it's called, the one in uh, Florida. Some of the beach shots. Um, we were actually shooting in January and February. Um, which, even though it was in Florida, it was still pretty cold, and that water was freezing. Um, so uh, the reason that there weren't too many people out and around uh, 
is that it was in the middle of winter. <laughs> it's very well it's very well put together because it, it uh, uh, for someone who didn't get to go to Disney World as often as she would have liked like me and other people um it was really cool to to see certain places that you had already seen or had not seen before and then look forward to going back and um mm. I love the the one portion uh, it's just the guys and Mr. Smead and Peter Pan and Hook and you get this whole yeah, pirate ship scene. Like, whenever does, whenever do you get to do something like that <laughs> in the entertainment industry? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it was it was fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. Did you have to learn some stunts? You know, try to get away from the pirates. <laughs> um, I mean, well, I was a gymnast, so uh, I didn't really have to to learn anything. I had kind of done stunts before, so it was that was kind of more in my wheelhouse than uh, than some of the other stuff. So I had a lot of fun with it. A lot of fun. This might be a weird question, but when Captain Hook falls off the side of the ship, <laughs> does he really fall into the water, or is he falling on like one of those mattresses that breaks your fall? That is correct. Yeah, there was a uh, trying to remember exactly what was underneath there. I believe I believe I, I, there was a, a another boat or something along. I'm trying to remember. Yes, there was there was another boat underneath there with uh, with a mattress for him to fall on. Okay, because yeah. I had never seen that boat before. I I don't think I've ever seen it since at Disney World. Do you remember why it was there? If they built it just for this the scene, pirate the pirate ship. Yeah, or? yeah, the pirate ship. Um, I oh, I I didn't know that it wasn't there. Um, I I it's so long ago. I can't remember the actual origins of that ship. I don't know if it was part of uh, some display or or what exactly. But it was it was cool. It was a cool ship. <laughs> And you guys got to go into the, they had like this little snorkeling section too. So you got to swim with uh, the fishies of the sea, as they said, the sw swim little fishy song. Was that, was, was that the first time for you snorkeling? Um, yeah, actually <laughs> it, it was, <laughs> it was really interesting experience for me. Um, I, cause I, I get a little claustrophobic, so I was trying not to freak out while we were doing it, but it was beautiful under there. It really was. Um, they just... You know, I mean, you know, Disney does everything well. I I appreciate the Disney company a lot. Just you know, just from a strictly even as a business perspective, I feel like everything they do, they are on t on top of everything. So I got a lot of respect for the way they do things. And it's really cool because they offer uh, hula dancing lessons, if I'm not mistaken, in Polynesian Resort. And I yeah. loved it. They taught you guys how to do it. You know, what was that like learning how to hula? <laughs> yeah, that was cool. We were actually, uh, that was the hotel we were staying at, uh, the Polynesian Hotel. Um, so it was really nice there. I really enjoyed it. And uh, it was fun, man. You know, you're you're young. I mean, I was the oldest one out of everybody there, but I was still young and you kind of get in this <laughs> summer camp sort of mindset where you're just off with friends doing fun things all day. You know, I, all these experiences were, <laughs> all these experiences were great, and they just kind of compounded on each other, and you build the friendships, and you're, it's it's, and, and you're at Disney World on top of it, so you kind of have this whole escape from reality thing where everything is just fun. <laughs> And speaking of uh, friendships, you said, uh, I think you are in touch with some of the cast members still. Are you in touch with all of them or just a few? Um, I'm friends with a few of them on Facebook. Um, uh, only one I, I've interacted with recently is, is Mika. Um, and, you know, sometimes I talk to Brandon from the campground uh, video um, on Facebook, but... But, yeah, you know, it's, it's hard. People drift apart. People live in different parts of the country. Everybody goes their own way, you know. It's, it's like, like I was saying, it's a summer camp kind of thing, you know. You, you have this amazing experience, and while you're there, you're best friends. And then when you go apart, you know, everybody kind of drifts back into their own worlds. But it was a great experience with them. It felt like we were, all like, all friends. Like, we were in on, on the secrets and the fun. <laughs> so it, it meant a lot to all these kids who couldn't get to Disney World. So it uh, must have been a lot of fun for you guys. Guys and and the last scene, you know, you have a, like a, even a bigger group of people with you guys. You know, what was how long did it take to film that last scene? Because I think it was like two songs. Is that the slice and sand or? That's it. Yes. Or, yeah. like, <laughs> I can't yeah, get that song seen, out of my head. <laughs> I haven't seen the video in a couple of years. I should I should watch it. Um, I just remember it being a lot of fun. I mean, we had a lot of people, a lot of music, and, and it wasn't even 
strictly, I mean, from our sense, from, from the kids, they didn't really give us a whole lot of direction in that particular scene. It was just kind of like, go have fun, rock out kind of thing. So it was, I mean, the, the other cast members, I think, had done rehearsals beforehand to figure out all their placing and what they were going to do. But for us, it was just kind of like, you know, just jam and have fun. It's, it's, it's fun to go back and look at these uh, videos because I, I, it makes me reflect on some of the fun or, or funny memories that, you know, that, that happened while we were doing it. It's like your own home video. It, I mean, it is. You know, it's like a collection of two weeks of, of, of my life from 1995, you know. <laughs> and uh, so you, it brings back funny, funny memories and stories and, and just things about where you were at in your life at that time. So, Have you been back to Disney World since the video? I have not, actually. Um, I just actually uh, went to Disneyland a few, like a month or two ago for the first time in... Uh, like 15 years. It's, it's complicated. Life life becomes more complicated. Well, before we end our interview, I want to make sure I open the floor to hear what latest and greatest projects you have been working on, you know, since... Well, um, in my, let's see, my teen years and my early 20s, I was working on music for a long time. Um, so I released uh, two albums with the group that I was in called Inverse. Uh, we had two albums, one called So Far and one called So True. And then I did uh, two solo albums myself that I released that's on my website, um, which is uh, listentotoby.com. And um, other than that, I've just been, uh, you know, I'm teaching, teaching school, teaching gymnastics also on the side. Uh, and I'm also contemplating uh, running for political office uh, in the coming years, so... We'll see how it goes. As that should be my uh, my campaign slogan, Toby. You know me by my wavy hair. I hope that, yes, please use that. That would be oh perfect. My God. <laughs> well, I always ask my guests three questions. I call them the Fab Three, other uh, Disney themed questions. So we'll start with the Donald one, which is as a child, what Disney film was one of your favorites to see in the movie theater? Wow, that's a difficult question. You know, I like I was saying before, every time that there's a, Pix a new Pixar movie, I'm all over it, man. They Those are just brilliant movies. Um, you know, and we're talking about, you know, Toy Story and Finding Nemo and uh, was was Up Pixar? I think Up was Pixar. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Incredibles. Monsters, Inc., Bugs Life. Monsters, Inc. Yeah, those were great also. I mean, there's just, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have time to, to watch movies, unfortunately, anymore because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm working like three or four jobs right now, but... Um, you know, anytime that they're on or I catch a little piece of it or if there's a new one that comes out, uh, you know, I'm all over it because because they're always great. They're just consistent, you know. And our goofy question, what Disney character do you think would be your best friend if you met them in person? <laughs> I don't know, maybe Goofy. <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I, think, I think Goofy would keep you laughing. Actually, I think of my best friend now, and he's probably the closest uh, thing that there is uh, that a human could be to Goofy. So <laughs> That's nice. I like that. And our, and our Mickey question, if I asked you to name any song at this moment, what immediately comes to mind? Well, <laughs> I've been te I was teaching kids for a long time, so the song I heard more than any uh, lately was uh, Let It Go. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Toby. This was a lot of fun, and, and I will make sure I put your link to your website in the show notes below so our listeners can keep up to date with what the latest and greatest that Toby's doing with his wavy hair and, and music and everything. And and oh, hopefully, I will I will guarantee you this, if I ever become a millionaire, I'm going to see if we could put together this reunion <laughs> for our own beach party 2.0. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool, for sure. Ocean if it gets too hot. Ooh.